Tuning requires a different kind of listening. Come ride along with me as I tune the grand piano in the Emmeline Theater in Pirin Mamarin. I usually begin by playing each of the 88 keys to locate any action problems. Any culprits are marked with chalk. I'll go on to test a few large chords, just to hear the full range of the instrument. Without a humidity control system, piano strings can become rusty, here I'm using a bit of steel wool to clean them up. Foreign objects, dirt, cat hair, guitar picks, marbles, and M&Ms for instance, can be removed from the soundboard under the strings with a soft cloth on a flexible stick. Here we see the use of the muting strip. Most of the notes strike three strings, so when we tune, we must isolate one string per note. Later, the neighbors can be tuned to it. Meet the Sanderson AccuTuner. It's an oscilloscope made to measure and display the slightest changes in pitch. Here, I am using it to measure three notes, low, middle, and high. The machine is also measuring partials of each note, sometimes called harmonics, and using this data to calculate inharmonicity. What that means is how much compromise is needed in order for this particular piano to sound in tune. This allows the AccuTuner to guide me in setting a fairly good average tuning. Then it will check each interval by comparing each note to several other notes while observing their vibration rates. As I reach the treble section, I begin adding more comparison notes from the full range of the piano. In the high treble, I'm checking to see that each note fits in with many chords. The highest few notes can be plucked or chipped with a thumbnail. Time to put away the AccuTuner. The rest is done by ear. First, I retest all the tenor and alto notes to make sure there has been no slipping. Now I'll remove the muting strip as I tune each new string to its neighbor. When tuning unisons, I want to eliminate any beats, pulses, or vibrations. 
The tone should suggest a straight line or still water with no ripples. I am rechecking the notes in the soprano area to make sure that they remain stable. Lots of test chords are used with some wider intervals. There are a handful of musical fragments I like to use to check each completed tuning. Perhaps you recognize some of these pieces.